Hey, what's up? Uh, we coming straight at you down here from you don't know where, but I'm going to tell you where I'm from kind of crap. Hey, first and foremost, I'm going to give my shout out for some lady. Uh, Y'all might want to look her up. She's funny as donk crap. Uh, S-A-N-D-F-A-Y-D-O-N-T-P-L-A-T-L. No, P-L-A-Y. San fan don't play this is the most funniest woman you're ever going to meet and again her name is s-a-n-d-f-a-y-d-o-n-t-p-l-a-y sand don't play look i've been watching videos all day and every day and trying to you know see what's going on with this government shutdown and this wall shiznit and I'm going to tell you right now, um, it's, it's going down, y'all. Okay? Um, it's going down. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to smoke. Because smoke it on play. Like on Friday. Look, I watched a crab load of videos this morning of uh, people getting... Uh, shown that the government shut down finna go down with the food stamps and with the uh, section 8 housing I didn't see anything about um, the shit going down for the paying child support to these mother trick or truckers okay and that kind of disappoints me because they need to shut all that crap down too because I mean that don't make no doggone sense uh, people's making money y'all don't even know what's going on okay you do not know what's going on and I'm gonna give you a download for the real, just so you know what's what's going on. Like, 800 people being held hostage by the government. You mean their checks being held hostage? You mean the Democrat Party going being held hostage? Yeah. Look, take a look at how many presidents before this, and what's been going on. What's been going on? Ain't nothing been going on. That's for real. And now something going on is the Trump. Well, Trump don't play. And all, for all y'all that's getting mad because you don't know what's going on, you need to shut up, scratch your ass, and get glad because something going down. And you you need to be happy. You need to not, not be worried about what the freak because this is how you disclose the crap in this shiznit. Okay? Now, we all gonna have to go through something for a minute, but we gonna be all right, all right? And now, look, I'm really disappointed in all these people making these government shutdown videos if this is the last time I'm gonna get my food stamps. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, I've been going through some shiznit for a long time and I've had help in my life as a young person, but I did not never depend upon the government, which I'm gonna call that government the beast. The 666, I mean, if that's what you want to call it, and I don't even want to call it that, because, but if you want to call it that, I mean, uh, people saying, Oh, you going to take my food, Sam Oh, the government is my baby's daddy. That's bullshit. If the government is your baby daddy, that's the sign of the end times for real, you freaking freaks. I mean, you going to sit up and say that, you know, your baby daddy ain't you know the daddy you know the the real daddy that the government is the baby daddy y'all freaked up you know what i'm gonna tell you for real because i'm a realist for real and um suggestive thinking when you walk into the grocery store and you see all this expensive shit with these prices on it blah 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 okay when you walk into a doctor's office or to any kind of office, you see shit on their walls. It makes you want to, you know, sit up and read it. And you're like, oh, this is me. This is what I'm going through. Suggestive thinking. Suggestive thought. That's why people are saying, you know, your life is like you're living, you know, a TV shit. But first and foremost, for all those 800,000 uh, uh, 800, workers... We're being held hostage by the government. You freaking freaks. Why don't you ask some of these Vietnam vets what held hostage really means? Because your check. So you're saying money's worth people's lives, humans' lives. 
And if you believe in God the way that I do, <laughs> you some sad ass mother trucker truckers. What Trump is really trying to do is expose the government for what the freak it is and what the freak you've all been brainwashed, okay? You've been made to think that the only way that you can make it is you can do your bestest and your bestest ain't enough is. So, you know, you're going to get these food stamps, work your job, and your Medicaid, just like you all say, and I'm watching all these videos on TV, and I'm just sick. I'm sick. You know why I'm sick? Because it's just like they say, the government shit was meant for you to, you know, live off while well, you needed it until you could do better. And you mean to tell me, all you mother tricker truckers that's on, posting all this crap on YouTube, you're saying that you're welfare queens what the freak is going on here now that's some sad ass shit you want to call yourself a queen a queen of what the beast the beast is what the government the what i don't know if it's democrat or republic i really can't tell you the truth because i mean i'm not all the way there yet but you mean to tell me that you're proud that you live off of the government you're not proud uh, of anything else i'm gonna tell you what I grew up into a point where my mother told me she would, you know, rather eat beans and live by a tent by a river than, you know, have to kiss fucking ass. And I'm sorry I had to use that dirty word. And I usually don't do that. Oh, Jesus, God, forgive me. Yeah, that's real. So, I'm watching all your videos and the government shut down. I'm going to go in and, you know, make my grocery list. You're going to make your grocery list? So I'm watching you go in and you put your four cards, your four kids, not your cards, but you know, your cards are on the table, definitely. Your four kids in the basket and you're going in and you're saying, don't you know what this wall is for? Because none of you know what this wall is really for. This wall is because don't nobody give a crap what's going on in America. They want you to focus on the wall and keeping people out. Okay, look, you, no one's going to be able to come up in America until there's not so many people coming in here. They cannot take care of anyone. They're not ready for all this shit yet. But anyways, back to you mother tricker truckers posting these videos about, I'm being held hostage by the government. Your checks are being held hostage. You don't even know what hostage is. Like I told you, once you ask one of these Vietnam freaking vets that was in a, you know, a place that, you know, they couldn't get the out up for years and then be called help your money. Yeah. It's like they say, money is the root of all evil. And for all you mother trucker truckers making all these videos trying to play off the government and requiring sadness. Put my four kids in the basket push them all around in the grocery store showing you what i get yeah i mean i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what i seen this morning on these videos i seen you get pop tarts name brand steaks and ribs name brand getting this good ass cereal and all you bitches steadily hitting the freezer fucking all okay steadily hitting there and i say bitches because women okay look you're supposed to be doing way better than that. You're supposed to be showing budgeting skills, how to survive, and, you know, helping out your, follow, your fellow man. Okay? And at, at this point, you don't give a shit about man. Because you've done said that. Okay? Your man is the government. And that's some sad ass crap because that's not what a, what a man is. Okay? A real man gets up every day, busts his freaking butt. You know, like people said, rain, sleet, or snow, I'm going to work, I'm making the money, I'm trying to provide for my family, paying our taxes, and where do we find out our taxes are going? Where do we find out our taxes are going? Food stamps and Medicaid. And taking, you know, we don't mind taking care of disabled people. That's not a problem. If they're really disabled, okay, if they're really disabled. But some of you have been wrongfully misdiagnosed, and disabled, because of, I don't know, maybe it was d Democrats. I guess we're going to find out real soon. I guess that's what the cabal is. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
You're going into the stores. You're filling up your baskets. You got buku freezer section, shit to pop in the oven and the microwave. And I'm looking at my kids because we live paycheck to freaking paycheck, okay? Off of real men out there busting their butts and real women sitting at home, okay? That are trying to take care of their kids, being called pathetic ass housewives, which we're not. We're like, you know, trying to, you know, clean our houses all day, trying to take care of our families. You're getting really good food, okay? I don't live off that crap. You know what I live off of? Rice, okay? Chicken. Let me go in here. Mm, yeah, it's Friday. We live paycheck to paycheck. We don't get month food. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we don't buy our eyes. We make our eyes. Okay, they're called ice trays. All right, what do we get? Mm -mm. We get water because we don't trust the water system because, you know, that's, that's kind of crappy. We've got lots of potatoes, onions, carrots, which I love carrots, cucumbers, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, carton of egg. Um, we get some oil. We get one thing of maybe Tony's Creole, and that's to season your food because we can't afford all those different type of freaking seasonings. And, yeah, we get very little freaking canned foods, but we're living off chicken and crap like that. We especially love coffee, so coffee beans are, you know, up to par. Um, we're not buying it. Oh, some girl came here the other day to my house. I'm going to tell you this right now. And um, she bring her baby. She just got down here. And I was like, oh, you know what's going on with the government shutdown? She's like, no, I know what's going on with the government shutdown. I said, well, you ain't heard. They're finna cut food stamps off and, and Section 8 housing and, you know, all the free stuff that you're getting because, you know, we're paying our taxes and working. And we don't get none of this. And you're all bragging about, you know, your Christmas presents that you're getting and buying all your kids and like most people say, you got long fingernails and, you know, doing your hair and getting all this shit done. It's bullshit, y'all. It's all bullshit. All your shit's bullshit. Okay? Uh, I don't give a freak what goes on, what happens. Okay? I'm in it for the long run and the long haul. And I'm going to go through it with y'all, just so you understand. Um... Who's been really paying the price around here? Because my kids don't get shit. And to watch all your kids getting all these uh, good snacks and fruits and shit, it's making you really sad. So. Joey!